always starts at 7 a.m. That's always when I wake up. It's the perfect time for me. It's not too early, not too late. Cash usually comes right over when he hears my alarm come off and I'll usually let him up in the bed for a little bit and we'll just cuddle for about 10 minutes or so. I'll head over to the bathroom and I always like to wash my face in the morning and just apply some moisturizer. I've been using this one from CeraVe. It's just a very simple, gentle cleanser. So I'll cleanse my face and then I'll moisturize with my Kiehl's moisturizer. I'll then head over to our living room and just open up the windows and let in the light. I always like to do kind of a quick tidy up of just fluffing our couch and picking up any glasses that may be out just to kind of have 10 minutes of cleaning up before I get on with the rest of my morning. I also try to keep our lights off in the morning. There's something about just having the natural light coming in even though it's a little bit darker. It's just nice not having all that harsh fluorescent light right in the morning. So I always like to enjoy this time of just getting that natural light. Lately, I've really been into drinking espresso and thankfully our apartment building actually has an espresso machine. So I'll usually head on over to the amenities area and use that. But unfortunately, when I was recording this video, it actually was broken when I headed up there. So I just went down to our lobby and used the Keurig because we happened to be out of coffee when I was recording this. But coffee is always a staple in my morning. I then just fill up my water bottle and I take my probiotic from Seed. I really like them and I've been trying to take it on an empty stomach because I think it's a bit more effective that way. I'll then just unload our dishwasher and this is usually when I like to start having my coffee and just kind of waking up. I really think of these chores in the morning as a way for me just to slowly wake up as opposed to just getting on with my day right away. I also always have to feed my sourdough starter. If you guys have been watching the vlogs, you know that I've been trying to get better at baking sourdough and keeping up with my starters honestly something i really enjoy because it's just therapeutic doing the same monotonous task every morning so i'll go ahead and do this in the morning too It's about 7.30 right now, and this is usually when I like to try to do some sort of devotional or journaling or just reading. I would say that this is the part of my routine that tends to vary the most depending on what I'm reading, the amount of time I have for the day, the kind of morning it's gonna be, but regardless of the morning, even if it's just 10 minutes in the morning, this is always something that I try to do. And the devotionals that I'm reading haven't really changed since my last morning routine that I posted, but something I've been trying to do lately is just journaling more. And this is something I've always struggled with. I'm just not the kind of person who really writes out my feelings that much. I will write out my prayers and things that I'm maybe just thinking about in regards to what I'm reading, but I never just journal about where I'm at in this specific place, being present where I'm at. And this is something that I've talked about in a few vlogs and a few podcasts lately is just feeling kind of scattered and as an adult just feeling like time has really been passing by so quickly and just get to the end of the day and it just feels like the day goes by so quickly but every single day has been feeling like that and so something that i've been trying to do to kind of feel more grounded and present is just journaling during the day and then the other two things that i like to read so first is just my utmost for his highest this is the devotional that i've been reading i really like it because it has kind of a thought on a specific passage of scripture and then it also includes the scripture if you want to read it too. And then this one just kind of depends on the day or the kind of mood that I'm in, but it's called Every Moment Holy. One of my viewers, Kendra, actually sent this to me in my PO box and it basically has different kind of liturgies depending on the kind of day it is or different moments. So this one is for the preparation of a meal, for the planning of flowers, for fiction writers, for sunsets, for stargazing. And there are a lot in here that are specifically on on mornings so sometimes I will read the morning ones but those are usually just repeat things that I'll do the Sun is finally coming in which is nice this is my favorite time of the day when the Sun just starts streaming in it's kind of still my quiet
quiet time in the morning to chill. Cash always has to be a part of it, of course. After I finish about 15 to 20 minutes of reading, depending on the morning, I will usually just head on over to our bathroom and put on my gym clothes. I always like to set out my gym clothes the night before. I do this probably 90% of the time because it just makes it easier in the morning to throw them on instead of having to rummage through the dresser and everything. I just got changed for my workout and my workout split varies pretty often just because we're doing a bunch of different workouts right now. If you've watched the vlogs, you know we've really gotten into doing F45 classes, which those are more of like a HIIT training, it's functional training. So they have cardio days and strength days. So we will either do one of those in the morning at 8 a.m. on the days that Eden is working from home or on the days that he's in the office, we will sometimes do an evening class at 6.30 or I will do a gym workout. So I would say right now we usually go three to four times a week to f45 and then i usually do about two gym workouts a week and usually when i go to the gym i like to just run running is definitely one of those things that i would say is more just for my mental state i really enjoy just doing like a solid three mile run i have been trying lately to run a little bit faster just because i've been doing this three mile run for so long so obviously it's good to push yourself sometimes i will also go longer but i would say that that's a bit more rare but yeah i always love getting a workout in in the morning especially i definitely prefer morning workouts but everyone's different i think you just have to do it works for you it just always wakes me up and i do have a more flexible schedule so i find i have more energy in the morning especially when i have been really into workout music lately i just love really like positive more kind of remixes edm style music i will listen to whatever it takes to get me the energy to finish my run or my workout or whatever i'm doing and so i will try to link a playlist down below i'm probably going to put one together of my favorite songs that are just uplifting that are good vibes because i find when i have just great music it makes it so much better i will try to film in the gym but i don't always get clips down there just because obviously that's a spot where people feel kind of like vulnerable in the gym and i wouldn't really want clips of me working out in someone's video and so i would Always try to film but I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable our gym's pretty small in our apartment building and for today's outfit I am wearing my favorite lululemon align top I love these tops they're my favorite to work out in because they're not super cropped they just show a little bit but they're so comfortable and then I'm also just wearing lululemon biker shorts I actually prefer to work out in leggings but I don't have any clean so I'm just wearing these they're on a little hat too so let's go for this morning workout, I ended up just doing a three mile run. And then I went ahead and just did some ab workouts. I will usually just do an ab workout from Sammy Clark. She's one of my favorite fitness instructors here on YouTube. Or I will just search for a 10 to 15 minute ab workout. Then I have been trying to be better at stretching lately. If you guys watched my last reset video for my monthly resets, I'm trying to get better at just stretching since I have been working out a bit more often lately. And I know it's very good for my body to do that, especially when I run. workout was so good it was so nice too because it was basically completely empty the whole time i was in there so i got to film some but i'm about to take cash for a walk this is usually around 8 45 and typically with cash we'll take him on one walk in the morning that's around like 30 minutes or so and then in the evening we'll either take him to the park or he'll go for another walk too so that's kind of cash's exercise routine and then he also gets to go outside too i take him out throughout the day too and i'm working from home take him out to go potty and all that. But we're gonna go for a walk, it's a beautiful day. I'm just wearing the tank top, but sometimes I would throw on a hoodie. And while I walk, I usually like to listen to a podcast. So if it's a Tuesday, I always listen to what we said. If it's a Saturday, I always like listening to my friends, Rachel and Anna. They have a podcast called A Small Amount of Drama. Love their podcasts. Those are probably my two favorites that I like to listen to, but I do listen to other podcasts too. I just can't think of them off the top of my head. But. After our walk, I always feed cash. We've been feeding him open farm lately. We've been feeding him open farm for about six months now. It's just a kibble, but I like to also add in some treats and a little bit of their broth because then he really enjoys it. He kind of has to sniff out the treats and it's just more active for him when eating. 
Back from our walk, this is usually when I like to make my breakfast. I always like to kind of wake up and give my body a little bit of time to digest. I don't like immediately waking up and eating in the morning, but everyone's different. I usually switch up what I eat. I usually get on a kick of one thing and I eat it for a week and then I switch to the next. But I would say the things I usually rotate between, I'll do avocado toast just on some sourdough bread, or I will do a couple of fried eggs and some fruit if I'm feeling something just a little bit lighter, I'm not super hungry. Sometimes I'll do banana pancakes. That's more if I'm really hungry in the morning but probably my tried and true are my yogurt bowls. I just do the Chobani Greek yogurt, just the plain yogurt. And then I also like to add in some bee pollen. Bee pollen's really great. It has a lot of just vitamins, minerals, amino acids. And I believe eating bee pollen also helps with allergies, which I get pretty bad. So I don't know, I also kind of like the taste. So I just picked that up at a health store. And then I also just top it with some granola. This is just Trader Joe's granola. And I actually like to add frozen fruit on my yogurt bowls. And especially in the summer, I think that these are really great. These are from Trader Joe's. They're just the dark, pitted sweet cherries so i'll just do these and then i'll also do their wild blueberries i just put these in a bag because my bag broke and then i'll top it with a little bit of maple syrup and that is pretty much it it's just very simple i also like heating up my berries too because it kind of melts it and it gives it almost like a sauce kind of i don't know i think it's really good though i just sat down to eat my yogurt bowl and usually when i sit down here i like to go ahead and make a to-do list of what needs to get done for the day with what i do it varies all the time but typically it's just doing emails emails editing, actually creating content. And then some days I'll have days where I'm vlogging and doing more stuff out and about. So my to-do list always kind of varies, but I do have quite a bit of things to get done because I'm filming this on a Friday. So trying to wrap things up for the weekend, but. Just popped out of the shower and I figured I would share my favorite shower products right now while I'm here in the bathroom really quick and then I'll run you through my makeup. I've already done part of my makeup, just my base. I'm just gonna keep my hair natural. I curled it yesterday. I don't really feel the need to recurl it. So I just threw it back in this little flower clip that I got that I'll have a link down below. I'll link all these things down below too. For shampoo and conditioner, I've only been using these for about a week now, but I love them. It's the liquid glass soothing shampoo from Dry Bar. Basically only got these because when I went to New York City, they had a dry bar shampoo and conditioner. And it was so nice that the scent lingered in your hair if you've ever been to dry bar. They have the most fresh scents there and I like that this actually lingers in my hair after because I've been using that. And I also like how it makes my hair feel. It really makes my hair so soft and it just feels really healthy when I use that. So I've been using that. And for body wash, I used to not use body wash because I was trying to just use bar soap just to not have as much packaging, but I've been getting some like clogged pores in my Brazilian area after I get my Brazilian waxes. So Adrienne, who does my waxes, she recommended this nourishing body wash. It's just an unscented body wash. It has really clean ingredients in it too. So this is all I use on my body right now. And perfume, I recently picked up this Replica Beach Walk perfume and it smells so good. It's the perfect summer scent. It kind of smells like sunscreen, like you're walking on the beach and maybe a little bit of vanilla. It's so fresh though, I really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the living room to finish out my makeup because the lighting in here is not it. I do like to get ready most days just because I usually am filming something or taking some sort of content and it also just makes me feel a little bit more put together. So rarely do I not get ready, but some days I just won't wear as much makeup. Like today, I don't think I'm gonna wear too much. I already have a few things on that I'll show you. I always wear my tried and true. This is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I love this. I think it provides just a great base. I've used this for years now. And underneath that, I forgot to mention, I also use the Elta MD sunscreen. Always use this, I'm trying to get better about sunscreen. I'll set everything with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And then for blush and bronzer, I've been using these two from Physicians Formula. These are just their butter blush and butter blonde. <laughs> I just use their butter blush and their butter bronzer. I really like both of these. I really like these two for adding a little bit of glow too. This is just the Fenty Beauty matchstick. This is in Starstruck. I just use this as a cream highlighter. I'll put it on my nose, my chin, my inner corners, and I'll set that with this Laura Mercier highlighter. That's just really pretty. I'll just use a powder brush, go all over, 
And then for my eyes, that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I haven't been filling in my brows just because I do get them tinted. So this is what my brows look like without anything on. It's a game changer. But I usually just like to go in with some sort of like light brown shade that maybe is a little bit more warm tone. And I will just apply this to my eyelids. I'll then usually just go in with a little bit of eyeliner and I'll just try to make it super thin. Forgot my mascara, but this is just the CoverGirl Lash Blast, which brings me back to high school. I would use this all the time in high school and I accidentally got the waterproof, which I absolutely hate. So I need to get one that's not because it's impossible to get off at night and I have to scrub my eyelashes and then basically all my eyelashes fall out. In the spring and summer, I really try to kind of go lighter on the makeup. So this is usually the best routine for me. And lastly for lips, I literally just use Aquaphor. This is just to moisturize my lips. I'll sometimes wear a gloss if I go out, but I don't really wear anything on my lips these days. And for today's outfit, I'm just wearing these shorts that are from Urban Outfitters. These are my favorite shorts right now. They're just so comfortable. They're a good length. And then my top is from my newly order. I love it. I think it's so fun, especially for spring with the little puff sleeves. And just like that, it is now time to start my work for the day. So that is essentially my entire spring morning routine. It isn't that different than my other routines. I don't really change things up that much for the seasons, but I think what I eat usually changes, what I wear, products that I'm using, and sometimes my schedule. But I talk a lot about kind of like crafting routines and finding a routine that works best for you over on my podcast. So if that's something you're interested in, I will have that link down below. But I'm definitely a believer that you should fill your days, especially your routines with things that you enjoy I know a lot of people don't have the ability to have this super lengthy routine of doing all these things But I think even if you just pick a couple of things every day that you love to do and you look forward to doing I'm definitely a big believer in just really loving all the small things like my morning coffee You know seeing the sun stream through our windows in the morning getting to walk cash outside and even the things that are sometimes labeled as chores like unloading the dishwasher making the bed looking at those things as things that I'm grateful to be able to do because I'm so honored to have this space to be able to have my morning routine in and I'm so grateful to be able to unload the dishwasher that my body can do that and so kind of looking at those things with gratitude instead of seeing them as chores has been helpful but I need to start my work so thank you guys for spending my morning with me and feel free to stick around if you enjoyed this video if you're new I post twice a week here on YouTube so I'll catch you guys in my next one bye friends